Martin in the sling. Even he's trying to clap. Well done, you. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the show. Now, big news, ladies and gentlemen, big news. It's Glastonbury this weekend. Mm. <laughs> Anybody going? No. <laughs> One person. <laughs> No, apparently they're expecting 180,000 people this year. So they are thinking about putting in a second toilet. No, seriously. <laughs> uh, you are advised, you are advised to take wellies, uh, as, and I quote, the welly stall sells out in five minutes. And you think, who's running that? Rejects the apprentice. <laughs> Just buy more wellies. Uh, and they're also advised you to, and again I quote, Take some condoms. You never know. <laughs> I think I do know. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it in some smelly hippie. No, I think not. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll just have a wank into this welly. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I did go to Glasby. I went to Glasby a few years ago, and it was such a wet wet, miserable glass, but you can't uh, imagine, you can't imagine. Like, we ended up leaving early, and we'd wanted, like, a special pass so we could drive onto the site. And when we were driving out, it was, like, the last helicopter leaving Saigon. People were like, oh, help us, help us. <laughs> Turn on the windscreen wipers, it's a hippie. <laughs> <laughs> so, so it, you might know this. this. It was a famous year because uh, the, the mud was so bad, right, in the dance tent, the mud was so bad, it was just, like, just, it was just horrible. So they finally said, look, we've got to do something about it. So they got the big truck, right, that's used for emptying all the long drop toilets, right? So they're doing all that. They got it to the dance tent, got the big hose, put it into the dance tent, and I swear to God, no, not joking, they pressed blow <laughs> instead of suck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Here are some of the revelers now. Yeah. <laughs> Look so happy, thinking it's mud. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, look, sweet corn. Where did that come from? <laughs> oh, where is that? Hey, let's get some guests on, ladies and gentlemen. Later in the show, we'll have music from Gareth Gates. But first, there's nothing like a Dane. It's comedian Sandy Tutsvig! Oh! <laughs> Sit yourself down. And is that a snake in his pants, or is he just pleased to see me? Like I'm hosting a children's party, Alice and Sandy. <laughs> 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 and the dolls. That's great. And, and the dolls, yeah, we'll uh, now, see, I see myself partnered with somebody called Alice, but not looking quite like that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, and both of you, you're on tour at the moment, mm -hmm. and you're going on tour. Yeah, well, actually, we've done South America already. And <laughs> yeah, that was the warm up. That was the warm up. <laughs> Sao Paulo, 33 million people in Sao Paulo. Oh, That's a big meant... gig. I <laughs> <laughs> meant came to the concert. Uh, yeah. oh, no, Can you hear us at the back? <laughs> <laughs> and it's not just you, it's Metallica. Yeah. And Joan Jett and the Blackhead. Oh, not Metallica, it's... Um, Motorhead. Motorhead. I knew Motorhead. it was somewhere beginning with M. It was an M. <laughs> it was this close. Yeah, Lemmy and Motorhead and uh, Joan Jett, yeah. who was great. Both, both bands are just killer rock bands. And this kicks off in November. Yeah, and we'll be here in November, so... Don't you miss it. And you, Missy, uh, you're on tour at the moment. I am on tour at the moment. We play, uh, ooh, anything up to 600 people. It's, an, it's enormous. <laughs> <laughs> it's really wild, though, aren't they? <laughs> sure, no, we did Cheltenham Town Hall the other day. It was, uh, ooh, we rocked Cheltenham, I tell you. <laughs> I would love to do warm-up for one of your gigs, Alice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, this tour, you're bringing back the big kind of stage... Things. Yes, it's time to, to bring back the big production, and um, we made it a little more dangerous this time. I mean, the last time they cut my head off in the guillotine. Do you do that in your show? Um, no, but it's obviously it's going to be the next one. I like this. I may knit while it happens. <laughs> You're a boss. Yeah. We have a, the, the hanging this time. We're not just hanging me. We're hanging me in a straight jacket. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which means I have absolutely no control at all. Just so to let, show the audience, it's you know. It's a harder trick than it looks like. Now, has this gone wrong? Well, one, gone time, wrong. one time, one time. In London, one time in about 1978. And uh, 
you know, when the floor drops out, you have this sort of, I can't do anything about this. And the rope's not really supposed to hit your neck. And all of a sudden, I felt it hit my neck. And I put my chin back, and it went up. It burned me like crazy. And went right through the floor. Knocked me out. I missed two songs. That, sorry, did, did you say this was in 1978? About 78. That is nearly 30 years ago. You've not learned at all. That this <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I said, we've got to get this right. <laughs> And now, just getting back to Glastonbury, have you played Glastonbury? No, we've played Reading, we've played a lot of the other ones. I've never played the Mudfest yet. It's a curious thing in this country that we have truly terrible weather and we persist in having open-air concerts. We love it. There's not a park in the world that doesn't do some dreadful production of Shakespeare. <laughs> and uh, I did a whole season in the open-air theatre in Regent's Park. And what's fantastic is that the audience sits, they sit on a raked thing like this in the summer, and they forget that the actors can see them just as well as they can see us. And the number of women who used to come, honest to goodness, and sit with their feet up on the seat in front and no <laughs> pants on. It was, no, really, and all the boy actors are like this. They're doing a lot of Shakespeare, and they're just going like that. <laughs> <laughs> so much for the bard. Yeah. <laughs> now, so, uh, I have a, a question to ask. Is there anyone in the audience, just uh, on the, that Glastonbury thing, who doesn't mind the idea of, you know, camping, getting dirty, being a bit messy? Oh, are you putting... Look at her, pushing his hat up. <laughs> now, the man in the green shirt, I don't believe you don't mind getting messy. Or is that a DIY accident, that shirt? <laughs> who, uh, who else was there? Oh, there was the indie Rocky man. Oh, what's your name? Craig. Craig, you don't mind getting messy? No, I quite like it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now you're worrying me. Um, oh, I love that hair. It looks like you left the stylist backwards. It's fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sorry, Graham. Was, no, no. was stylist too strong a word, possibly? <laughs> <laughs> Look at his friends. It really wasn't. <laughs> um, <laughs> he's come out ahead. Um, so, all right, Craig, if you go out there, if you follow someone, oh, that man down there, Nick, uh, he'll, he'll take you backstage and we'll see you later for your challenge. All right, bye, Craig. <laughs> I'm not saying that Craig is going to Glastonbury, but I'm afraid if you are, there is some bad news. Yeah, the Wurzels have pulled out. No. <laughs> they have. There they are. Hi. So, how many hits have you had? All oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Are you familiar with the words? No, but I, uh, does he set the like the accordion on fire at the end? Like, you know? <laughs> if only. <laughs> Would that it were that exciting. <laughs> yeah, no, they had a song called uh, uh, "I've Got a Brand New Combine Pen Harvester." Yeah. Uh, oh, I'll... okay. Uh, who what, God, <laughs> she's so keen, that girl. <laughs> I was talking to the audience beforehand, everything. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sort of helpful Tourette's. <laughs> I'm Irish as well, sorry, Greg. Oh, I know, I'm sorry too. <laughs> We're all sorry. Listen, cheerier news. <laughs> there be any, any cheerier news. No, it is. Uh, cheerier news to the world of music. Well, I say music. Uh, the Spice Girls are rumored to be reforming. Uh, yes. Wow. I'm just oh. Glad that's happening. No. I never thought I'd see them back together. Not them, obviously, Jerry's legs. But uh, they are. <laughs> um, and you do think, you do think, you know. Why are they getting back together now? Now, just as their solo careers are starting to... Oh, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> now, the Spice Girls have turned down a request to perform at the concert for Diana, although Posh and Ginger will both be there. Uh, <laughs> but now, listen, clearly they're getting back together again uh, to make some cash, but there's no shame in that. No! No! no. Maybe like they'll money. do another movie. Okay, there might be shame in that. <laughs> <laughs> But no, because you, you've been very um, uh, got vocal about saying that, you know, you like money, that you are a true American rock star because oh, you, you do it for the cash. Well, it's not only that, but I mean, it's, you know, if you stay off stage long enough, you, you, you crave it. You have to go back. I feel more, more at home on stage than off stage. But, but with the whole kind of the, the rock and roll thing, rock and roll is always kind of like, on one hand, it's very, full of kind of excess and da, 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 But then on another level, it's all quite kind of 
mundane. Because, like, who do you, you get your snakes, who, who breeds the snakes? Well, you have, there are snake snakes. breeders, actually. Yeah. Snakes. And okay. uh, you don't actually carry a snake. You go to the local snake place, you know. There's like a rent-a-snake, Hertz rent-a-snake, <laughs> that you can go to and, and get your snakes. I know that sounds, un you probably have never done that. No. <laughs> Does that mean you can only play venues near snake shops? I mean, you could never play Dorking, for example, because... <laughs> well, no, you, you rent them for a week, you know. Do, do they come in a very long, thin truck? I like this. <laughs> Case. The snake's here. <laughs> Back it up. No, 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 I'm going to tell you the most disgusting story. Oh, brilliant. Okay. I've used the snake on stage so many times, you know. And we're, we're play, playing in Los Angeles, and all the Sex Pistols are there, and all the guys in Kiss, and all the, you know, all our friends are there in the audience. And I have the snake on stage, and it's a very dramatic moment on stage. And all of a sudden, everybody's laughing. And I'm going, this, they're not supposed to be laughing at this point. And all of a sudden, I realized this snake had defecated. <laughs> it's never happened before. But when they defecate, it was all down the side of my clothes, about eight piles <laughs> on the stage. And it was the worst smelling thing you've ever smelled in your life. Now, of course, the Sex Pistols went, yes! <laughs> That was the greatest thing they'd ever seen in my life. You know, how does he do that? <laughs> and so, now the worst thing about this is what it was a it was a, a carnival kind of show where all of my roadies were dressed like these really awful clowns. So they come out to clean it up, and when they're cleaning it up, it's making them gag, and they start throwing up. So now, <laughs> so now I've got piles of anaconda, and I've got clowns throwing up on top of it. And I'm going, I'm even disgusted with myself. I? And I believe you, everybody in the audience said, this is the greatest show Alice has ever done. And uh, now, I'm moving on, uh, apropos of nothing, uh, Supermarket News, and it's been revealed what happens to Tesco staff when they leave the company. <laughs> On their final day at the store, they are locked in a cage and pelted with food by their colleagues. <laughs> no, no, seriously, there's a picture of him. See that some mobile phone thing? No, no, seriously, this does happen. And you think that's terrible, isn't it? Imagine that. Oh, like Working fun. in Tesco. Yeah. Um, <laughs> apparently, apparently, they do do the same at other supermarkets. Uh, of course, at Waitrose, it's all organic. Uh, <laughs> at Lidl, it's basically just lumps of shit. <laughs> Competitively priced shit, but uh, <laughs> at Marks and Spencer's, you get a cucumber shoved up you. Uh, but uh, you can take it back if it doesn't fit. <laughs> uh, tragically, uh, one of the staff who was pelted with cream and custard was so distressed that he poured a pot of glacé cherries over his own head. Yes. <laughs> he topped himself. <laughs> <laughs> Do you see? <laughs> <laughs> I'm back. <laughs> I like the degree of shame you had. That was good. I like it. Actually, people out there, the whole industry, in fact, devoted to covering people in food, people who enjoy being covered in food. It's called uh, sploshing, right? Now, wouldn't you know it, it has spawned uh, magazines... Uh, of the thing. I know that you're both of a delicate disposition, mm. but there's one there if you want to have a look at it. Uh, uh, it's called Splosh, and it's uh, <laughs> this lady rather carelessly was bringing a dessert somewhere and, and tripped. Uh, and <laughs> covered in it. That is They're fun. quite. Oh! Oh, hello. <laughs> um, what a. <laughs> now, I'm sorry. I'm does, does that Sue Pollard? <laughs> I think it might be. But there are, uh, you can buy... There, there are... should... <laughs> I've never seen baked beans served in that manner. That is <laughs> astonishing. Did you see, at the back there was an ad, you can buy films so you can watch people doing it. And uh, le like all good porn, very good, there's a, for a few dollops more, <laughs> uh, desperately soaking Susan, <laughs> uh, what's that? Pretty clumsy woman. <laughs> 
But it turns out, it turns out there are sloshing enthusiasts all over the country. So we have invited some to join us in our activity room backstage. You're all right. So we can go and see them now. Hello, sploshings. Hello. Hello. There they are. They're, they're, you're, you're getting on with it, I see. That's super. Uh, your name's Jilly? Yes, hi. Jilly, you're having a great time with that girl at the back oh, there. You. Honestly, she's like, macaroni cheese. What is that? And, uh, so, t so, so sploshing is a, kind of, is, a, is a fetish? Yes, it is a food fetish. Yes, yes, yes. yes I get it. And uh, so, and men like this, what are the? Oh, yes, men get really turned on by it. Yes. It's they, not Saturday Kitchen, is it? <laughs> they like the texture and the feel of the food on their body. Okay. Don't eat it. You'll get fat. <laughs> okay. So, what happens if they, do they go out to dinner after this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, not another pie. <laughs> Top turn ons for men. Oh, basically, wrestling in uh, baked beans. Wrestling well, we'll, in baked beans. We'll, we'll save the excitement of that. Yes. <laughs> and also cake sitting. Which I'm guessing is sitting on a cake. Yes. All right. Yes. There's a cake. Should we, should we see someone sit on a cake? Oh yes. yes. <laughs> All right. Get a cake, someone. Cake. Oh, oh look at her. Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> All right, lovely. So uh, this will be a top turn on for men. Men oh, prepare yes. to be turned on. Yes, they really get turned on. Big time. Cake yes. it. No. <laughs> Ooh. Uh. <laughs> do, you, do you think they'll sing happy birthday now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen. Uh, now, do you remember? Do you remember? Craig, <laughs> who didn't mind getting messy. Oh. Bring on the Craig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, Craig, Craig, take your blindfold off. Oh, that's it, girl. It, it's yeah. nearly glass and great. Oh. Okay, Craig, oh. don't, whatever you do, don't get an erection. Oh, <laughs> oh, what the hell? Okay, 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 now. Okay, well done, well done, ladies. Oh, now, he's loving it. He's technology, loving it. technology mm. has uh, come to call in sploshing. Oh. Calm down, Craig. I think he We've got it. a special sploshing gun. Can we turn the camera around to Ooh. see the special sploshing gun? Okay, this is very high tech. There it is. <laughs> you all, you all set with the splashing gun. Don't, don't, don't fire it yet. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Ooh, it's like your anaconda. <laughs> It'll be a clown in a minute vomiting. <laughs> okay. So uh, let's go, let's go back. So okay, this is this is our big splashing finale. Everyone ready? Okay. So you ready, Craig? Okay, so on a count of three, one, two, three, fire, shut your eyes! <laughs> well done, everybody! Well done, Mr. Walters! Thank you very much, Craig and Jilly. See you soon. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 bye. bye. I think there's romance in the air. <laughs> Craig will have found new friends. I think he found Yes. Us. Suddenly yes. have a vision of how Ready Steady Cook could be made interesting. <laughs> Ainsley Harry, Harry in the middle, <laughs> yeah, with the big gun. Oh, no, no, bring back Fern Britain. Now. <laughs> <laughs> mm, now you're talking. Uh, that political news now. Yes, political news, I say. Wow. Look out. The Cornish National Liberation Army oh. are on the march. Now, this is, this is true. This is serious. The, the Cornwall National Liberation Army is a new organization known as the CNLA. Uh, their first choice of name was the Cornish Union of National Terrorists. <laughs> they didn't go with that in the end. <laughs> in the end, they thought no. Uh, now, one of their aims is to promote the teaching of the Cornish language. I, know if you, I don't know if you're familiar with the Cornish language. It's, it's a, a very short alphabet, uh, two letters, essentially. U and R, <laughs> usually in that order. Uh, the leader of the council said, these extremists are making the people of Cornwall look ridiculous. Uh, this is the leader of the council. 
Now, have you toured Cornwall yet? Uh, oh. No, no, yeah. not yet. Have you you have. Done. Oh, yeah. Were they loud? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> they went, ooh, ah. <laughs> and then there were two oohs. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Presumably they have snake shops as well, oh, which yeah, I didn't know. Yeah. Yes, yeah. exactly. You must like to get home, Alice. I mean, you, the I'm, thing about hotel rooms is it pales after a while, doesn't it? I, I'm out for six months on this tour. Wow. But I live in Arizona, so you don't want to be in Arizona June, July, August, or September because it's 115 degrees. So that's the perfect time to tour. And well, I don't research any of the places I go. I don't even look at the itinerary. I just go, where are we? Yeah. In fact, they put a piece of tape that says Wichita, you know, or Birmingham, England. So I don't, you know. Did you read on the front of the stage yeah. so you can say, hello, Birmingham? Yeah, yeah. And, they, and of course, they switch it every once in a while. <laughs> hey, St. Louis, <laughs> Cincinnati. <laughs> it's, the, it's the hotels that do me, and especially if you stay in the posh ones, I forget, every time I forget that they put a chocolate on the pillow. I wake up every morning and think I've had a brain hemorrhage. It's... <laughs>